Today I'm making a chocolate chip cookie ice box cake. It's no bake, super simple to assemble, and it looks pretty killer. I'll show you how. Let's start by making our whipped cream. I have four cups of cold, heavy whipping cream that I'm gonna pour into the stand mixer. And I'm using the stand mixer because it just does all the work for me. Powdered sugar and some vanilla extract. I'm gonna start it off on low so it doesn't go and then raise the speed until soft peaks form. Oh, I'm gonna take a nap while my whipped cream whips. Like that. And now, assembly. I'm gonna start with a little of the whipped cream. I'm using an offset spatula. It just makes it easier to assemble everything and spread it out. This just makes it easier. A little on the plate, and I'm doing that so the cookies don't slide around. And that's it, there you go. That's the cake. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, cookies. I have some Tate's gluten-free cookies. I like them because they're very, very crispy and very crunchy. And the whole thing with this cake is you assemble it and you pop it in the fridge, icebox cake, pop it in the fridge for a couple hours and the whipped cream actually starts to soften the cookies and then you can slice it like an actual cake. I'm gonna place five or six on the bottom when you gotta kinda move them around and make them fit, so. This is another one of my really go-to, all-time favorite no-bake desserts. Some more whipped cream. And slather it over the top of the cookies, leaving the outer edge of them exposed. And then some caramel drizzle. Some chocolate drizzle. And then I have a chocolate bar, dark chocolate. I'm using a vegetable peeler and I'm gonna put some shavings. This is very rustic, if cookies can be rustic. <laughs> Next layer, and that's how we do it. One after the other, that same whipped cream, chocolate, caramel, shavings, cookies, whipped cream, blah, blah, blah. Tense looking cake, huh? Okay, this is my last layer. The last layer will be the whipped cream, the caramel sauce, and the chocolate. It's pretty to end on this. And super low fat. Just like really healthy for you. Pretty much it's finished. You can pop it in the fridge for a couple hours for it to soften up and then you can slice it like a cake, but there you go. Chocolate chip cookie icebox cake. Make this immediately. Yum.